Hi, I'm Faye Kellerman. And this is my daughter, Eliza. And we are co-authoring a book together called Prism. I think it's been a very good experience. How do you feel about writing with me? It's great because what happens is, is that I come home and write the book, and I'll get all my thoughts out. Then I'll send it to you, and you're my first editor. I think it really works well because we don't have any of the face-to-face -face kind of conversation exactly. that can sometimes lead to misunderstanding. So we always collaborate and we share together, but we don't have any of the drama. It's not like we're both sitting in front of the computer writing the book. Like it, when, when you hear the word co-author, there might be like an illusion that we're like both sitting in front of the computer taking turns pressing keys, but it doesn't work that way. Where, mm. where do we get the ideas from PRISM? I think it was a lot of collaboration. Yeah. Well, when we were brainstorming for PRISM, I was thinking about how interesting it would be if a bunch of uh, teenagers were transported from the normal world into this sudden different parallel universe, and we were coming with all sorts of themes for how this could be a changed universe. Um, we finally narrowed it down to a very interesting idea of a parallel universe where the sick aren't taken care of. We are always talking about how a society is only as great as its weakest members and only as great as how that society caters to its weakest members. And it's a very interesting idea today with so much controversy about health care and how do we you know, aid the sick, how do we aid people in need. And PRISM really explores that idea of how do we do that? Like, w what if we weren't to do that? How, how dangerous could it be? What I really like about the book Prism is we have these three characters, um, Kata, who's the main character, of course, and Zeke and Joy, and they're going on this class trip together, and they have nothing in common. They're not in the same cliques at all, but somehow they got assigned to the same carpool together. What I really like about these characters, though, and all the characters in the book, is that they're not really archetypes. Um, right. I mean, I find very rarely in actual um, real life that you find someone who is the good guy, the popular kid, the outcast. It doesn't really work that way because people are very complex. People have many layers to them and um, so do the characters in Prism. 